Oh, welcome, Waffle Waffettes, to Disney's Hercules on the PlayStation 1. Now, there's a couple of things I need to mention before I get into this playthrough. The first thing I need to mention is the cutscenes in this game are taken directly from the Disney's Hercules movie. So for that reason, I'm going to have to remove all of the cutscenes from this playthrough. So if you're wondering where the cutscenes are, I had to remove them because if I leave them in the video, I'm almost definitely going to get a copyright claim from Disney. So I have to remove all of the cutscenes from this uh, playthrough. The second thing is, I'm going to try and leave the music in the game on, but it also sounds like the music is taken directly from the Disney's Hercules movie. So for that reason, Disney might also give me copyright claims for the music. So I'm going to leave the music on for the next four videos, because I'm going to make four videos today. And then if I get a bunch of copyright claims from Disney, then from part five until I finish the game, I'm going to have to turn the soundtrack off. So if the game sounds a bit dead, it will be. It will be Disney's fault because they're being very anal. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. But I'm definitely going to have to skip the cutscenes. But yeah, let's get straight into this game. Now, if you're wondering why I'm playing this, there's, a, there's two reasons why I'm... Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> there's two reasons why I'm playing this. The first reason... Your basic DID, damsel in distress. But yeah, the first reason I'm playing this is I haven't played this game in 20 years. I never finished this game. I think the level I got up to when I played this 20 years ago was there's a level where you're in Thebes, I think, and you've got that Cyclops Titan that is trying to destroy Thebes and you're running directly towards him to defeat him. I think I got up to that level, but I never ever finished the game. I don't even know what happens at the end of this game. I'm going to assume you have to fight Hades, but I've never ever finished this game. So for that reason, I thought it would be good to play this on YouTube because I finished Bomberman World on YouTube, a game I never finished. I finished Croc on YouTube, a game I never finished. So I might as well add Hercules to the list too. And the second reason why I'm playing this is the last time I played this game was with my granddad. And if you guys and girls saw that video about a month ago, my granddad died from COVID-19. So I think now would be the perfect time to finish this game and show my granddad, wherever he is, whether he's in heaven, whether he's sitting in my room as a ghost right now, I don't know. I thought it'd be a good idea to show him just how much better I've got at video games. So uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of pressure and I'm probably going to do a lot of mistakes now. But yeah, let's get into it. Sorry for talking so much, but there was a lot of things I needed to talk about. Now, let me, let me mess around with the buttons. I haven't played this in 20 years, but I think I remember the buttons. So we've got our sword. Triangle, I think, if you hold it. Yep, that's your big attack. Circle, I think it's like, yep, normal punches. Crosses to jump, as always. Um, I think R1, I think it switches between your different swords. Because if I remember correctly, you can find, like, electric swords and fire swords and things like that. And it switches between your uh, swords. And you can use them for a certain amount of time. Um, you've got your healths up in the corner. I've got four healths by the looks of it. And yeah, I think, I think that's about it. And also, I think if you jump and press... Yeah, you could do like a stamp attack. I'm not sure what this is used for, but you could do a stamp attack. You could also attack when you jump as well. Can you hear that? Can you hear uh, Phil in the background? Who, do, who does the voice acting for Phil? It's that small guy, isn't it? What's his name? He's the guy that's in, like, Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger. What, what, who is it? What's his name? Is it Danny DeVito? It's Danny DeVito, isn't it? That's the person who does the voice of Phil, that little goat in the background who's training Hercules to be a hero. <laughs> but yeah, there's a couple of things I remember about this game that really pissed me off that was similar to Crash Bandicoot 1. I, I think I remember this bit. Yeah, to be able to reach these coins, I think you need to break a few of these. Oh, why didn't you jump on? I'm not going to be able to get them now. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing I remember about this game that really annoyed me, and it's very similar to Crash Bandicoot 1, to save your game, you need to find four hidden pots in the game. And if you don't find all four of those hidden pots, you're not going to be able to uh, save your game. So it's, it's very, very bloody annoying. So we're going to have to uh, make sure we find four pots. Otherwise, this playthrough is going to be quite stressful. Because I think you've got 
you've got a specific kind of pot that um, that gives you healths. Then you've got the other pots, and you've got to collect four of them to save your game. Then you've got, I think... Then I think you've got um, little Hercules toys that give you extra health. Then you've got, like, blue drinks that actually heal you. If you hit these before they hit the floor, you get money. Uh, what else is there? There's something else as well, another kind of collectible you need to find. Oh, the letters. If you spell out your name Hercules by finding all of the letters, you can, um, I think you get a continue. So if you run out of health, so you can continue. I think, I think that's all of the stuff in the game, but I might be completely wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all of the stuff. It's like I said, it's been 20 years since I played this game. So if I did remember it all, that's flipping skill right there. And if you collect the money... And you collect enough of the money in the levels. If I remember correctly, I think if you collect enough money, then when you finish the level, you get an additional health. So make sure you pick up the money as well. I'm not doing very well at the moment, am I? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, crap. Just took some damage from this. God damn it. Can you hear Phil in the background giving me grief? Rule number 95, kid. Concentrate. <laughs> I can't concentrate, Phil. I can't concentrate, mate. I don't, when this film came out, there wasn't any YouTube. But when you're in front of a camera, talking lots and trying to play a game you ain't played in 20 years, concentrating is pretty difficult. Oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> But this is obviously the training bit where you first meet Phil and you want to become a hero and he trains you, just like in the movie. I think the next level, actually, is one of the levels where I'm sort of training again. I don't even know how many levels there are in this game. I don't even know how long this playthrough is going to go on for. But I think the next level might be um, where you're also training to be a hero. Here, look, those Hercules dolls, they increase your health bar. But I think uh, the next level is one of the levels where you're running directly forward. And it's sort of like Crash Bandicoot and you have to like dodge everything. And there's like stuff coming towards you. But that thing I just picked up, look. Now this is very good because there are some very annoying enemies in this game. Uh, they're like, they're like, I don't know what they are. Even, even 20 years later, I don't know what they are. I'm going to assume they're gargoyles because when you hit them, uh, they smash. So they've got to be like rock. Also, another thing you need to pay attention to. Sometimes you can walk back into the terrain. So you can walk backwards. Sometimes the game shows you where you can do it. But other times it doesn't show you. So make sure you press up and down on the D-pad. Just to see if you can run up into the background. Because there's normally hidden things up there. Like letters and pots and stuff. Like I have no idea where all four of the pots are in this level. Oh. Oh, these are the things. I, I hate these things. These are probably one of the worst enemies you will find in a video game. Look how they smash, though. Like, what are they? Oh! They've got to be, like... They've got to be some sort of gargoyle, ain't they? But that's why you want to save your electrical sword. But you want to save your electrical sword, because quite a lot of these little weird bat things appear, these gargoyle things. So it's good to, uh... I think... I don't know what a helmet does. Oh! Oh, did you like that? You shitbags. <laughs> That's why you... Oh, God. I think... I don't know if the um, helmet... I love it when he says Herculade. Um, I, th I think the, um, the helmet might make you immune to damage, possibly. It looks like it makes you invisible, but you're not invisible. I just think you're immune to damage when you've got it on. God, that was close. I, know, I remember there being a bit in this first level where there's like, ah, oh, this must be it. I was going to say, where there's like a ton of bats. Oh, oh yeah, it does, it does save you from damage. Also, I don't think you can save your power-ups. Like, you know, like in Mario, if you find power-ups, you can, you can keep them for later. Well, you can't do that in this game. So if you... Um, if you get like a, an electric sword and it hasn't run out yet, you can't take it into level two, if I remember correctly, so. 
But yeah, I, I don't think this is going to be a huge playthrough. I don't think this game is extremely long. But, you know, there is quite a lot of secrets and stuff. I'm gonna, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go onto the, uh, go onto Google and see if there is a, um, like a cheat code. Because you know you can get cheat codes that let you skip levels. Well, I don't want to skip levels, but I need to get, oh shit. I need to get cheat codes so that I can, um, when I finish this playthrough, if, when I finish recording, if I don't. If I don't find four pots and I can't save the game, then I can write in a... It's not even a cheat code, it's a password. Then I can write in a password to get to the level I was currently up to. So I'm going to have to search Google and see if there's passwords for this game on there. There should be. Ah, oh, those are the pots you need to find. There's four of them. It's exactly like uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, where you have to find the bonus rand, the three tourner heads, and then you need to do the bonus rand, finish it, then you can save your game. It's just like Crash 1. I don't, I'm gonna. I probably missed a lot of coins now because that bridge that just fell down with them sharks. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of coins up there, so uh, I'm probably not gonna get enough coins to get another health now. <laughs> I swear I'm only supposed to have three healths. Ouch! I swear I'm only supposed to have three healths and not four. I don't know. Maybe I picked up a pot and didn't notice. <laughs> I don't know. Not doing too bad at the moment. I mean, I ain't died. Ah, oh, this sword is pretty good actually. Oh shit, it's got like, um, we're just gonna have to sprint through this bit. It got like homing fireballs. I just took an absolute ton of unnecessary damage just because I wanted to show you guys and girls. Look at that! <laughs> just because I wanted to show you guys and girls that fancy fire sword, I took a lot of unnecessary damage. I don't think I'm doing too bad though, considering I played this in 20 years. I can show you the section that me and my granddad were trying to do for about... I was probably trying to do it for about five hours, and my granddad was probably trying for about three hours. So I can show you guys and girls that bit. Try and smack all these. Oh crap, if they land on you, you take damage, so... But if you smack them in time, you get a pan coin. Looks like a pan coin, doesn't it? Uh, this bit, actually, I remember this bit. If you pick up this rock, there's a bunch of like bats or whatever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down here first, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys first. Because whilst you're trying to carry that heavy rock, you don't want these little turds constantly attacking you. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend I'm doing well at the moment, because I'm not. But I've got to get used to the buttons and stuff, so there's going to be a lot of, like, really crappy gameplay for this video. Next video should be a bit better. This is a great game, though. I, I, I own the game on disc, and I don't even know where it is, but I had to buy it on the PlayStation Store because I couldn't find the disc. It's somewhere in my house. I've got no idea where. Because it ain't with the rest of my gaming collection, so I've got no idea where it's gone. But I've definitely got it. And um, I bought it on the PlayStation Store on the PS3. And um, it was only £1.69. So if you want to buy this game, £1.69. And it's a, it's a great game. Definitely a game you should show your kids and all that if they've not played any of the more newer games. Uh, if they've not played any of the older games, it's definitely one to show your kids. And they'll probably enjoy it anyway, because they've probably seen Disney's Hercules, is not they? What kid ain't seen Disney's Hercules? If they haven't seen it, you need to sort that out immediately. Because Hercules is one of the best. It's up there with Lion King. I've missed so many... I don't understand where I'm missing letters. Because like I said, there is a bit... Like, there's bits in this game where you can walk into the back of the terrain. Oh, I remember this bloody bit. But uh, there's bits where you can walk to the back of the terrain. And I think that might be... I think these Herculades are down here in case you fall. I'm just running down here because I want to make sure there's no bats. Because we need to do a lot of swinging there. Oh, crap. I ran out. Ow! Oh crap! I'm being shot at by those weirdos. I've got another sword to show you as well. I think those bats are going to be up here, probably ruining my day. I don't think I killed them. Did I get them or not? 
I'm waiting for them to come at me right just as I get to the last bit and then they're going to poke me and knock me down, isn't they? Here they are! Oh, I got them. Oh, that's good. I think I missed. Yep. Right. We're going to have to make sure we jump now. Okay, good. You really have to smack that X button. Because if you don't smack that X button, it doesn't always like to jump. The, the controls in this game are extremely stiff and slow. So when you jump up and press cross, see, look. See, I'm pressing, I'm pressing square to attack. Yeah, see, look. That's, that's, look, see? He doesn't always listen to me. He's, he's, very, he's not very responsive to what I tell him to do. He's a bit of a son of a bitch. Uh, these things are checkpoints, if you're wondering. This is a pretty long level, actually. Ah, oh, this is what I'm talking about. You see, you can go to the back of the terrain, where there are some sections. It might, might, this might be an example. No, but there are some sections where you can just walk into the back of the terrain, but it doesn't actually tell you. And if you, you need to do that because there's more than likely going to be a bunch of like hidden pots and stuff that allow you to save your game. But can you hear the soundtrack in the background? I've turned it down a little bit, but you can hear it's directly from the movie, so it might, I don't know, it might cause problems. Oh, looks like the letter S is there. I'm not sure what the point of ducking is. I don't remember there being any point in this game where I had to duck. Mind you, I wasn't very good at the game, so uh, <laughs> there probably is plenty of bits where I need to duck. I mean, I haven't died yet. If I was playing this 20 years ago, I'm more than... Well, I would have definitely died by now. Because <laughs> those birds always end up killing me. Hey, look, there's another pot there. That's the second pot, so that means we've missed two. And I know there ain't no more in the level. That's the final one we're going to find. Let's make sure we come all the way back. I think another point, actually, yeah. Because when I... F I think I... F this was... Because I used to have a lot of demo discs, because I've talked about this before. I didn't have much money when I was a kid. My family were definitely not well off, so it was very rare that I got brand new video games. I had to rely on demo discs or renting. And um, uh, I had Hercules on a demo disc, and I played it. And uh, I, think, I think that might have been when me and my granddad uh, couldn't get past that Minotaur. We didn't know how to defeat this Minotaur in Thebes. I think that might have been when we got stuck. It was with the demo disc. And then after ages, eventually, I managed to do it when he'd gone home. But we was on it for hours and hours. And then I think I purchased the game and I got stuck. That's why well, I didn't purchase it. My mum and dad got it for me for Christmas. And I think I got stuck a second time at the first boss. Because I'd never done this level or any of the other levels because none of these were in the demo. It was only Thedes in the demo disc. And... Um, I got stuck at the first boss, the, uh, the the centaur or whatever they're called, the horse people, you know, from the movie. I got stuck on him and didn't know how to defeat him. But uh, I think I can remember how to do it. But I know for a fact I'm going to die several times. I think that's level... Level three, maybe. I think we're at the end of the level. I'm kind of glad, actually, when you get past these first two levels because then you ain't got Phil... Oh, look at the... Look at this little weirdo. What are you doing? Oh, he's whistling at me. He's cheering, isn't he? Oh, look at that. He's proper happy. He's like, God damn it, Beowulf. This is the first time in 20 years I've seen you finish this level without dying, you absolute legend. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, my friend. I mean, you don't need to shake your dirty goat ass at me. He like, I can touch his butt. Look. <laughs> can you listen? Listen to uh, Hercules when he ducks down. He, like, he says, ha ha. I hope you guys and girls can hear that. We could tell him a joke. I've got a joke for you. Hey, Hercules, look how many subscribers I've got on YouTube after uploading daily for six years. You bastard. What a bastard. Oh. I've nearly got the same amount of videos as I have subscribed. Well, I think I've got two subs for every video I made. <laughs> Jesus. Level complete. Now, I think if you collect all of the letters, I swear you get a continue. So if you do run out of lives, you can continue. Now, if you get enough coins, I don't know how many, you get a... Yep, there you go. That's another life. Hey, look. We've got Rated Hero. Hell yeah. And I think now, in the next screen, if you collect all four pots, you'll be able to save it. Hero's Gauntlet. 
Okay, we're going to have to probably do this in, yeah, we're going to have to do this in the next video. So I'm going to have to pause it and end the video, and then we'll carry on with this next time. Okay, hang on a minute, Hercules, hang on a minute, mate. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first video of Hercules. Sorry for so much talking at the beginning of the video, but there was a couple of things I needed to mention, you know. Because if you guys and girls have played this when you were a kid also, then uh, you might be wondering where the cutscenes are, or you might be wondering where the music has gone. So I thought I'd let you guys and girls know what's up, because Disney are one of the companies on YouTube that are very, very prissy with their products. There's quite a few companies like that. You've got Universal Music that are absolute scumbags. Sony Music are scumbags. Disney are scumbags. Warner Brother Music. And, and, and the people that publish Warner Brother games, they're also cocks. There's a lot of cocks. In the, these companies are cocks in general. There are a couple of really good ones, though. Like Team 17 are amazing. Um, who else? Oh, there's, there's a bunch of amazing companies out there that are just like great. Ubisoft are brilliant when it comes to YouTube. Insomniac are brilliant with YouTube stuff. They're one of the few, few out of all the big developers, Insomniac are one of the few that ever responded to me when I asked questions. So, to Insomniac, one of my favourite developers. It, for me, it was always Oddworld Inhabitants, when I was a kid. Naughty Dog, still are actually. Insomniac and Team 17. Those were my four big ones. Worms, Crash, Spyro and Abe. My big ones. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.